Okay, let's finish off this section just reviewing a few of my best practices, okay? And I might just tidy things up a little bit as I'm talking through them. But my first one, as I've mentioned it before, is try to think in grids, okay? Don't just think you've got this big um, big ocean of, of a canvas that you need to fill. Try and, try and um, refine it into grids so that you can... Um, you know, create segments of your information so that, that as a consumer comes in, they can very quickly identify where they're going to get certain information, right? Okay. And, um, you know, this is just a really simple and effective thing to do uh, that will improve, you know, what, what your consumer is looking at um, and it will, it will improve it a lot. Okay. So I'm not having much success getting really small adjustments here, but... Um, Look, this is looking. This is looking okay. This is looking okay. I mean, you can look, make it look, um, you know, e even better. You know, just by incorporating some of the other ideas that you might, I might have, you know, I showed you on the showcase page. So definitely take inspiration from that. You know, you'll see that this grid, these grid patterns are across all of them, all of the showcases that we've um, we've created historically. The other thing is colors. Make sure that your colors all work together. Okay don't have too much color on on the page if you can avoid it you want to just stick with a um a really uh, a, a good palette that works in well together and um and that's it you don't need to um get too fancy at all the the simpler the better with colors like i would even suggest that some of these like these these colors here i mean if i was to get really critical these colors here are a bit off compared to the other colors in my donut chart and they're kind of you know they they would probably need some some adjustment honestly i would probably probably change them and i'm just changing these up here because i think that these are these don't really work in that really darker color i want to make them a bit lighter yeah and i think that works a little bit better um as well use the appropriate chart and visual as well okay so you know if you're showcasing dates you know you don't want to show these as a you know as a bar chart you want these as a column chart i mean it's pretty self-explanatory right but um you know you want to be using the appropriate chart uh, so many times you know i see charts that uh, are illogical for what you're actually trying to represent so just have a really deep think about um you know what what will make it easier for the consumer to understand what you're trying to tell them don't clutter as well is another big one for me don't put too much information on a page spread it out you can create any number of pages in a report, right? Make sure that you know you've got uh, something, some sort of story that you want to tell within your report, and just don't um, put too much in, in your know, small space. Really try and make key information stand out in your reports. Okay, that makes a that makes a, a, a really really big difference. If, if, if a user, just think about a user or yourself even looking at sort of like a PowerPoint presentation, you really just you don't want to have to dive into the weeds to find the key information. You want it to really stand out and hit you in the face. And that's the same thing you want to do sort of with, with your Power BI reports as well. And I guess the last thing I would, I would suggest is, is more along the storyline. You know, you want a user to come into your report and be able to find out what they want within, you know, 30 seconds. You know, you don't want them having to sort of really feel around and say, okay, what is this showing? What is this showing? You know, they want to be able to, you want to have clear titles, you want to make it really um, easy to understand how they can navigate to the, you know, results and answers that, uh, or insights that they want. You know, it all just wants, to, you just want it to be, you know, really self-explanatory, really um, efficient for the user. And, you know, I, I think, you know, a lot of us can get, um, can overcomplicate things, and I would just try and, try and prevent that as much as possible. Try and make it, you know, really simple and effective, and you'll get a lot greater, a lot better feedback from experience when you, when you, when you work things like that, rather than letting um, sort of complexity get in the way of, of you know, a simple, a, a good story, okay? Because at the end of the day, that's what analysis is all about, right? It's about telling, telling, telling a story. I mean, you want to tell a, you want to tell a truthful story, one that actually um, that represents the data in the right way, um, but you know, you've also got to visualize it that way too. Okay, that's it for this section. I think what we'll do is we'll we'll move on. How can you you know move on to how you distribute, how you collaborate, 
this with this the, this information around your organization and you know how do you collaborate with your teams etc and that's what the power bi online service is all about so that's what we will um we'll dive into next